the main questions I get is when to wear a surfboard leash. And the answer is simple. I wear a surfboard leash when, if I wasn't wearing one, losing the board puts me in more danger uh, chasing after it than getting hit by the board when it stretches and bounce backs and hits me. By wearing a leash, you're connecting yourself to a board with essentially a bungee. So when you fall, the board will do what's known as a tombstone, get anchored by the water, the kite pulls you in the opposite direction, the leash stretches, and then the board releases and comes flying back at you. So, when does losing your board and chasing after it become more of a danger than getting hit by, by the board? Well, it depends where you're riding. If you're somewhere that uh, losing your board and you can easily body drag back to it, no reason to wear a leash. But for someone like myself who rides a lot of you know shallow, dangerous reef breaks, sometimes when you lose your board, it winds up getting washed up onto that reef. What do you do to get back to it? You have to now body drag into the one place you don't want to be, right where that wave is breaking on shallow reef. Sometimes it's so dangerous, you just let the board go and hopefully you see it again, either come in, come back out from the short, short shoreline. So in that scenario, chasing after the board is more of a danger than getting hit by it. That's one example of a situation when I wear a leash. There's a few small tips to possibly saving yourself from getting hit by the board if the board does um, come back flying at you. One of it is just feeling the tension on the leash itself. If your leg is bent, just simply extend it to release that pressure. Or if it does come flying back at you, the board is con connected to your ankle. Pull your leg out to the side and try and steer that board off to the side. So when it does come flying back at you, it's not at your body, it's not at your head. It could potentially miss you on that side. Um, there's not a whole lot that you can do, but those two things will help a lot. And it's actually saved me a few times. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to check out RioStevensCoaching.com where there's a whole lot more information, as well as links to kiteboarding coaching trips where we go over in way more de de detail than anything we could or are going through today.